folks, we're going to be doing something very different today. Welcome to Marmite Evan. Hiya folks, here we are, and this is Marmite Heaven, it really is. If you love Marmite, this is the place to be. Even if you don't like it, you might want to give it a try after you've seen this video. We've got some amazing things here, who would have believed? Marmite beer? Ah, fantastic! Yeah, uh, we've got Marmite nuts, Marmite cheese, uh, Crisps, you'll, you'll all have seen the crisps. Uh, new ones, uh, Marmite pinwheels, would you believe? Hmm. Uh, Marmite cheddar cheese muffins. Fantastic. Um, another one you might have seen is the Marmite crunchy peanut butter. Hmm. I haven't tried that yet. And we've also got some Marmite cheese rolls. Okay, what we'll do now, we'll open a few of these up and have a bit, a bit of a taste session, tasting session. Uh, I'll just get the scissors. Okay, we'll go for the bar my cheese. I'm not going to eat all of everything here, I'm going to eat a bit of each and tell you what I think. Because some, some of these I've tried, some I haven't. That is really nice, the Marmite cheese. I'd recommend that one definitely. Marmite cashews. If you haven't tried these, I recommend you give these a go. Mmm. Wow. They're amazing. They really are. Even if you don't like Marmite, give them a go. I'm, I'm not joking, they are nice, really nice. Marmite crisps, you've probably tried Marmite crisps before. Made by Walkers, and Walkers are probably the best crisps anyway. Yeah, they're, they're gorgeous. This one just came out recently, Marmite Graze Crunch. Yeah, this is a new one on me. I don't know what this one's like yet. Oh, you know, that one there. My mistake. One hundred and fifteen calories a portion. Hmm. Yep. They're nice as a snack. Them. They're really nice. Marmite rice cakes. So these are less than 3% fat. So if you're dieting, try these. They're not such a strong Marmite flavour them, just a hint. But again, they're a Marmite lover. That's good. I'm going to try a cheese muffin. They're a mini muffin. You can see the pack there. And that's what they look like. They're a tiny little muffin. I think I bought these in M&S. Mmm.
I'm not too struck on them ones. They're okay, but they're not up there with the other stuff. Mmm. Yeah, okay. We've got different jars of marmite here as well. We've got a, a chili marmite. And they call that one a limited edition dynamite chili. So what I'm going to do is get a bit of toast and put some of this on. And on the other slice of toast, I'm going to be another slice of toast, we've got a marmite cream cheese. Again, this is from MS. I don't know if I think it's exclusive to them. And we'll have a taste of that at the same time. Okay. Let's get the toast. I always recommend putting butter on the toast first and the marmite on top. You might not want the butter on, but I love the butter on. Here we go. Nice bit of the pack. Okay. I always use a clean knife because I don't want to get butter in the marmite. Let's put that back. Right. Dynamite chilli, here we go. The trick is not to spread it too thick. So this is the dynamite chilli. Wow, that is fantastic. I don't know if there's any Vegemite lovers out there, but this knocks spots off Vegemite. It really does. Mmm. Get yourself a new knife to spread the cheese spread. Here we go. Mm. Okay, got the cheese spread here, cream cheese. That's just enough. Wow. Highly recommend that one. That is fantastic. Although it's a marmite, it hasn't got that strong taste of marmite. Just a hint, but just enough to give it the, a little bit of a kick. It's fantastic. The marmite cream cheese. If you're ever in MS, give it a try. Mmm. Wow. Beautiful, that. absolutely beautiful. Okay, put the lid back on that one. I'm going to need to do some more toast because I've got a uh, crunchy peel and butter one here to try, so I'll lock some more toast on. Okay, we're going to sample the peanut butter. Clean knife again. Okay. Mm. Who doesn't like a bit of peanut butter? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> That's good stuff, I tell you. That's really nice. Marmite crunchy peanut butter. Wow. Beautiful, that. Ooh. That is fantastic. Need another knife. 
Put it through some knives for that. Right, what we're going to try now is the, this is a new one, it's Marmite Truffle Flavour. You can see that? Never tried this one before. Again, I've got a bit of butter on the toast, so that's the way to do it, I think. That's my preference. Here we go. Whoa, that's a bit soft. <laughs> Ew, that's a strange smell. Doesn't smell like Marmite. There we go. That tastes to me like a little, it's a little bit weaker than the normal Marmite flavour, the truffle flavour. Do I like it better? No, I wouldn't say I don't like it better, but it's nice. Right, what we're going to do now, we're going to drink some Marmite. This is just the normal Marmite, and it makes it a really nice drink. So, a nice, nice teaspoon in there. Now the absolute best way to have this is to have a knob of butter. You might be thinking, what? A knob of butter? Yeah! Not with butter. It just gives it an extra nice taste. Oh, cheers! That's fantastic. It absolutely is. Ooh, wow! Right, we're going to continue with this. Um, Still got a couple more things to show you. I've never tried these before, so let's see what they're like. Right. Looks a bit like a croissant. Marks and Spencer's Marmite Pinwheels. They're not too strong actually. Oh, they're nice. Yeah, they're nice. Hmm. Mm hmm. Some of these are these are really nice as well. Marmite M and S. Four cheese rolls embedded with marmite. And here we go. I'm not going to put anything on these. I suppose you put butter on, but um, that's what I like on the top. A nice layer of cheese on the top and infused with marmite. So. Wow, that's a winner. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Hmm. Superb. I love that. Yeah. We'll put it one side. Hmm. Yeah. That's a winner. And now for my well, like beer. Made by Camden Brewery, Marmite Ale. Oh, better get a glass. <coughs> oh, 
Okay, let's decant this. Smells nice actually, it really. Mm. I've got to pour it in too quick, I've got a glass, glass full of froth. <laughs> Let's wait, that settles down a bit. It's an amazing thing, Marmite. It's a byproduct of the brewing process. Um, and it was invented by a German guy about a hundred years ago. And I think it was developed over here in the UK. And uh, it goes from there. Right, I'm going to give this a try. Cheers, everybody. Oh. They should be selling this on draft, I tell you what. It's good gear. Just pour the rest in. I'm going to finish this off. That is gorgeous. Marmite ale. Who would have thought? <laughs> hey! Well, to all you Marmite lovers out there, I hope you've enjoyed this little exhibition and uh, try some more Marmite products. Cheers. Wow. Tell you what, I'm getting some more of them. <laughs> See you in the next one. Please subscribe and leave your comments below. Thank you. Bye-bye now.